Hey everybody, welcome back to more Pokemon Light Platinum. In the last episode, we defeated the first member of the Zeri Elite Four, AZ. Not Aisley, like I called him in the last episode. And in this episode, we're going to be taking on the second member. What I'm going to do is switch Barney to the front, because I know what type the next uh, Elite Four member has, and Barney can pretty much sweep up, so we should be going pretty good in the next battle. So let's just head through this little corridor. And for some reason, every time we go through it, our back is always turned, or our yeah, our back is always turned to the Elite Four member for whatever reason, but it doesn't matter. So, looks like we're about ready. Let's talk to this member. Hello, friend. I'm Triton, the Ocean Prince of Zeri's Elite Four. I'll beat you with water, Pokemon. Well, we've already faced the gym leader in the Seanport City Gym and pretty much dominated him, so I feel like the same thing is going to happen here against Triton, the, fourth, the second member of the Elite Four. So he leads off with the Blastoise is on level 67. We're just going to go for a T-Bolt. And he's going to set up a rain dance for whatever reason to increase his water type moves, I'm going to guess. But it doesn't really matter. We should be able to take this thing in one or two hits with Thunderbolt. So the first Thunderbolt does nearly take it out, but he's probably going to use a full restore. So I'm going to go for a Swift and try and do some damage with that. Swift never misses, so that's good. So I'll be able to deal a little bit of damage with that and probably finish it off with another Thunderbolt. So Swift does... Not bad, not bad. It's actually I think that's a, just about enough HP to let me finish it with a Thunderbolt. And he's using Protect, of course. He's gonna make me waste my PP with Thunderbolt. So we're gonna go for another Thunderbolt this turn and hopefully take out this Blastoise. And then once I take this, actually probably well, I wouldn't say it's the biggest threat, but one of the threats of the team. And if I can take this thing out, I should be pretty much set for the rest of the battle. So Thunderbolt takes out Blastoise, and we are down. Well, he's down one Pokemon already. Next Pokemon is going to be his Gyarados, which is going to go down to one Thunderbolt, because Thunderbolt is four times effective on that thing, or at least I hope it will be a one at KO. He has Intimidate, which doesn't matter, because Thunderbolt is a special attack, as everybody knows. So we'll go for a Thunderbolt, and that should do decent damage, if not take it out, which I hope it does. And we take out Gyarados, so no problem there. Level 67 Gyarados goes down to one Thunderbolt. The next Pokemon is going to be a Tentacruel. Now, I know Tentacruel is pretty bulky, so what I'm going to do is hit this thing with a Swift or two and then go for a Thunderbolt. And he's using Barrier, which will increase its physical defense, which is not what I wanted because I have Swift is a physical type move in this generation. And look at that minimal damage. And he's using Barrier again, so there's no point in going for a Swift. You're just going to have to Thunderbolt this thing and hopefully take it out quickly. It's a good thing it doesn't have Light Screen, if it can even learn Light Screen. If it had Light Screen, that would pretty much suck. So he's probably going to use a full Restore again after this. And what? No, he went for the Hydro Pump, which missed. And he's just going to let his Tentacruel get taken out by a Thunderbolt for whatever reason. That's totally fine with me. I don't really mind. The quicker I get out of this, the better. So, level 61, and we're just walking through this. This is the Elite Four, we're just walking right through it. Next Pokemon is Samurott, which is on level 68. We're going to Thunderbolt that, and I think this is a two-hit KO, so it shouldn't be too bad. Unless we get a critical hit, which... Alright, then, it's a one-hit KO for a level 68 Samurott. And we are down to his last Pokemon, which is Waylord. And, wow, I really didn't think I would get through this so fast. This is sort of... This is the quickest episode I think I've ever uploaded if I get through this in one hit. Oh, survival! I'll give it credit, it survived. And it's using Amnesia, which will increase its special defense. So we're gonna go for Swift, because I know he's gonna use a full restore. And that Swift should do enough damage for me to probably take this thing out with one more Thunderbolt. So, Swift is going to do... Nah, uh, yeah, I maybe be able to take it out with a Thunderbolt. Maybe two Thunderbolts or another Swift after this Thunderbolt. We'll see. And hopefully we'll take it out quickly. So, oh wow, that didn't do much because of Amnesia. And Water Spout won't do much. I think that depends on more HP, if I'm correct. Unless it gets a critical hit and does decent damage. We'll go for a Thunderbolt, which will hopefully finish off this Waylord. And get this episode done in about five minutes. Yep, that's defeated, and that is the second member of the Elite Four defeated in record time. Wow, that was so fast. You have great skills. I hope you keep winning your battles with power.
power like that. Well, I only used one Pokemon, so I guess it is sort of powerful. You managed to overcome the Ocean Prince. Keep going and try to beat the rest of the Elite Four. Well, I'm just going to heal up Barney, and that is going to wrap up the end this episode. So, I would like to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And what I'm going to do is, I know who's coming up next. I know which Pokemon to switch to the front. And, yeah. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys for more shortly enough. See you then.